Welcome everyone and today we'll be looking at using the area model to solve multiplication problems in mathematics. So as you can see here, I've got two problems, 4 times 3 and 12 times 3 as examples as well as some grid paper. The idea behind the area model is that we turn a multiplication sum into a um, an area and it's, it's a nice visual way for us to see um, how to solve these. So as you can see, I've put three and four, my two digits that I'm multiplying on either side of my rectangle to work out the area. And we're just gonna go three, two groups of three, three groups of three there, and four groups of three, which is going to equal, if we count our numbers up, uh, 12 there. Now with the area model, it does make it a lot easier if you know your times tables really well and you'll see in a future video on the extended area model how that can make things really fast. So here we go, the visual representation of 4 times 3 completed as an area model. So here we've got a bit more of a complex one, we've got 12 times 3. This one's different as we've entered the two digit by one digit multiplication. So what I'm going to do with the 12, I'm going to split it to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to put the 10 into the larger spot on the area and the two on the smaller spot. Now this one is to scale, as we can see, and of course I'll put the three there on the bottom. Now it doesn't have to be sideways like this one, it could be in the other orientation, it just depends how much space you have to work with with your problem. So the first way we're gonna split this one up is three times 10, and then we'll be doing three times two to figure out the other rectangle. And basically what we want to do is figure out both of these rectangles, add their areas together, and that will give us the answer of 12 times three. So as you can see here, I'm just counting three groups of 10 out very quickly. Uh, it's a little bit inaccurate, but that's okay. So I've gone 10 and then 20 and then 30. So we can see that three times 10 is of course 30 in this example. Now I've kept it pretty simple for this video because I would like to go into something a bit more complex for the next one and hopefully we can get the ideas down pretty quickly for this one. And then three times two, again, two, four, and six, just doing some quick skip counting there so that our second rectangle equals six. So we've got our 30 and our six. Now all we have to do is add our two areas together. Now what I've done here is good to visualize it. I've popped in the areas into the two rectangles on the actual working out. And then we have 30 plus 6 to figure out our final answer. And I'm sure many of you have already come to the conclusion that it is 36. So therefore we can say that 12 times 3 equals 36. So hopefully that's made it a lot clearer for people trying to get a good idea of what the basic area model is. If you do have any questions, um, please pop them into the comments. And uh, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And that way I can keep making some great maths videos. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.